नमस्कार टू ऑल व्यूअर्स इट्स इन डाइट अ रिलैक्स फॉर मी आई एम सुभाष करमरकर अ वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड ऑफ आर डियर डॉक्टर आनंद दातार इट्स अ स्पेशल डे फॉर मी स्पेशली हैविंग नोन आनंद सिंस इयर्स एंड इयर्स ऑफ हिज एक्सपीरियंस हिज लव फॉर जियोलॉजी फॉर अर्थ साइंसेस एंड फॉर इकोलॉजी आनंद इट्स फॉर यू टू इंट्रोड्यूस अस टू योर वर्ल्ड हेलो friends back home in brisbane in melbourne in sydney and everywhere in australia this is the landscape that i keep bragging about my dear the contrap the songs as i've said to you so many times before it's a huge flood basaltic province one of the largest ones in the world spreads across 5 lakh square kilometers in in other words 0.5 million square kilometers you can see the huge expanse of flows and formations of different types of basalts here in the background this particular spot is called as underban which is a beautiful patch of virgin forest which looks very different than all our rainforests in australia and the eucalypts and all those pristine ecosystems these are semi evergreen to evergreen uh, forests which are growing on different flows at different stages on these different layers of basalts so as you can see here we have a structural control here where a valley is being cut along a joint plane or possibly a dike we'll have to go down and explore what exactly uh, we have there you can see the different layers of basalts the shades of blacks and grays varying stripes of yellows this is the month of february which is 6 to 8 months from monsoons so the grasses have started turning yellow but as you can see the semi evergreen uh, vegetation is still there on different flows basalts are very interesting because they vary in composition slightly chemically they also vary a bit in terms of their uh, structural and textural characteristics you can see the compact basalts which are like massive black huge layers which are more towards the bottom of the valley and then you can also see relatively uh, thinner layers up above there as we go towards the plateau there and the peak there you can also see the forests the gallery forests as what we call them which are spreading across certain layers but not all the layers of these basalts because of their differential weathering because of their capacity to uh, form the soil and retain the soil the compact basalts here you see are jointed heavily you can see the minor valleys and small riverines uh, which are flowing down towards the main valley there following those jointing patterns and the rocks easily break away along those joints which is why you see those uh, steep escarpment like features as the rocks are, rocks are being uh, pushed below into the valley as they break along those joint planes whereas if you see certain other layers you will see a bit more gradual slope particularly if you look at that uh, slope coming down from that peak to uh, this edge or the ridge you will see a bit of undulation there and alternate steep and gradual slopes the steep slopes mostly represent the compact basalts whereas the gradual slopes are differential compositions of basalts which are complex uh, small individual flows layered on top of each other or they could be amygdaloidal basalts which means the basalts which have more cavities more dissolved gases which are escaping and that breaks that continuity and it doesn't remain as homogeneous as you see in case of the compact basalt which looks like a wall no i'm not talking about rahul dravid here but that does remind you of that so you see that gradual uh, slope where you have a bit of vegetation or patch of vegetation going along certain flows the yellows and the greens are all those flows the mitolodo basalts or basalts we are which are showing differential weathering which gives an opportunity for the soil to form there by particle by particle erosion and then it also is held up there because of the gradual slope whereas on the compact basalts you see uh, as the rock falls keeps falling down there is no not much soil retained there and as a result not much vegetation can grow there as a 
reason what happens is there were a few monkeys here but there are very few creatures which can actually climb these steep slopes and then there is a vegetation which is growing on the top of that huge compact basalt flow on the middle basalt flow and that is retained well as very few creatures can reach here humans cannot easily definitely reach here unless you make roads from the surrounding areas so that particular patch gets retained as a really nice virgin forest which is not easily uh, reachable for humans particularly which are accused to be the main uh, destructors so that patch sort of is retained as a forest and you see why it is called gallery forest and it exists like a gallery all throughout that single flow so these are some of the magnificent landscapes that I keep talking about all the time when I'm there in Australia the flood basalt, the Deccan traps Deccan traps again this region the entire region is called as Deccan or Deccan and traps is a Swedish word the geologist amongst you would know what it means is a step like terrace like feature and if you again see at those slopes it forms a terrace wherever you have the compact basalt top then again a gradual slope again a terrace a gradual slope again a terrace so it forms those step-like patterns which is why they are called as uh, Deccan traps so this is my love Deccan traps for you thank you thank you Anand for a very rocky and uh, precise description of the love of your heart all my pleasure